Hey, my name is Omari O'Neill, content engineer at Vizier Media and founder of SquarespaceThemes.com. Um, and I just wanted to um, put together this quick little demo on how to set up a autoresponder uh, for your mailing list, MailChimp specifically, using Zapier. Now, I've only just um, you know signed up for Zapier today, but this was incredibly easy. Um, incredibly efficient and you know this is for like typically autoresponders they have the whole um, you know autoresponder template and it's kind of when you sign up for a newsletter or anything online you, you know you kind of expect that whole generic um, intro email thing and every once in a while I'll respond to those just because I'm really curious or I want to actually connect with the person on the other end or you know but for the most part it's just it's junk um, so with this uh, you can send personalized um, emails that that are, are sent directly from Gmail okay so our trigger app is going to be MailChimp and the way I have my um the way I have this particular the list set up is I've got you know I've got <clears throat> a sumo me pop up on the site I've got um, a couple different places for people to sign up um, but they all they all go to to MailChimp so I want this to trigger when there's a new subscriber and when that happens I want to I want to send them an email okay just want to send them an email it's very really simple Someone, I get a new subscriber in my MailChimp list, and Gmail sends them an email for me. Okay, so I'm using my MailChimp account. Okay, you can connect a different one. And I'm using my my Gmail account now. I've already um, connected these, but you would just go in and it would automatically ask you to enter your login credentials. Okay, and let's see, I've got a couple lists here. Um, here. Here's a new list I just made today. Squarespace landing pages. So, add filters. Now you can, you know, you can add some filters here. Um, let's say, you know, you only want emails that start with or that have Gmail in them or something like that. Whatever, but. You know, you just want this for anyone new who who subscribes to my mailing list um, for Squarespace landing pages. They're just going to get a simple email from me. Okay, so I'm going to insert their email. This is going to pull it from Mailchimp, um, and it will reply. Let's see, set the reply to create at viziermedia.com. Okay. Um, it's going to be from me, and the subject is going to be, uh, hey, or let's say, um, 10 landing. For this particular one, you know, I'll say 10 landing page, 10 costly landing page mistakes. That's pretty, you know. You don't want to make any of those, right? So, anyway, um, I'll just say something really simple here. Check them out. Here, link blah. Now, you know, you're gonna. The whole point of this is to have this email be very personalized. So I, I probably wouldn't even use this subject. Um, I'd want it to be something that's coming from me and I'm speaking directly to someone um, about whatever it is they need um, because I, I want them to actually reply uh, like they would any other email. Um, I don't want them to just see it as, oh, this is that automated stuff, okay? So <clears throat> that's why I'm using this. And, you know, you can add attachments here, which is pretty cool. Okay, so continue. And you can test this with sample data. Um, However, I don't have any subscribers in this particular list at the moment, so 
I would have to just create one um, and what it would do is it would actually send a test email to um, one of those subscribers so in this case I would just make it be myself and uh, do this. So let me let me just actually go through the process um, yeah I'd have to go in and, and add myself um, but once you do that you're you're done and you've got yourself a quick and easy um, autoresponder using MailChimp and Gmail. Okay, so I hope this was helpful. Um, feel free to reach out to me, leave a comment, questions, anything of that nature. I will do my best to get back to you um, when I can. All right, peace.